Today's repair job is going to be to uh, replace the light bulbs that have burned out in this Mealy H4890. I've gone ahead and purchased the uh, parts from uh, Amazon. This is the uh, bulbs that they recommend in the manual for this oven. Uh, so check yours to see what they have. Uh, make sure that they're rated for you know, 300 Celsius degrees or so. They're supposed to be oven bulbs. Uh, so de definitely check your manual because that, that matters. And then to get at that, I'm, I'm going to remove the door just so I can easily get to it. Uh, which is pretty easy. You just got to lift both of this uh, uh, tabs and then close the door until it doesn't move anymore and then you just pull up and then this runners have a thumb screw here and in the back that can be removed so I'm gonna get started with that so the clamps are all the way back and they'll prevent the door from getting uh, close to it any further the lights are gonna be behind the runner so the first thing you have to do is is uh, thumb screws here uh, you'll have to get them uh, loosen up and then remove the runners uh, so that you can get uh, the uh, glass protection behind it. So with the door removed I got more access to removing the runners and to actually uh, get to the light. Now for the light there's supposed to be a plastic key that you can insert in here. I don't know where that is so I'm just gonna use something to pry it very gently so I don't break the glass. So Find some plastic tool or something that you can gently get in there. Uh, I put a, something here in case it falls down, at least it has some cushion. But you know, I can see that this easily falls, that easily comes out this way. I didn't have to put a lot of force or anything like that. I just touched it there and I can see that it's coming off. And now I've been able to pry it a little bit more. I got my fingers on it. I'm just gonna wiggle it. Boom, and there it is, it comes off. This is a, be a good time to start cleaning up the oven. That's why I removed the door so I can really get in here and clean up. There's a lot of old grease here. There's the light bulb that you're gonna need to change. Uh, for the replacement, do not touch it. Uh, you know, you cannot get oil on those halogen bulbs. And here's the left side again, just you know, some gentle prying. Just to get your fingers in there. This is the replacement bulb. Uh, try not to touch it with your fingers, uh, it will reduce its life. I'm just going to use you know, some tissue paper and it doesn't matter which direction the pins go in, uh, just push it back in after you remove the other one. Alright, so I got my lights in. Uh, now I'm just going to put the cover glass. Uh, notice where the big piece of metal is, it's going to go over the, over the bulb. On the other side is on the lower side, so don't confuse the covers. Just make sure that it's already uh, over the bulb. And to get it in, it's just the same as we did before. You slide it in here, and you just push it down. That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, again, notice the piece of metal is kind of covering the bulb. Uh, and it, you, know, you just slide it into this pieces of uh, hinges here, and then flip it down like a bitch. Reinserting the door is a little bit difficult. I probably need two people just because the door is so heavy. But basically, you're gonna put the door on an angle. You're gonna make sure the hinges go in there. Then you're gonna flip it open completely. And then finally, the tabs you're gonna push down on both sides to lock the hinges in. Just make sure that the door is completely tight and fit so it's not gonna fall on you. 